welcome to Home Cooking with me, Dave, where I'm about to make, uh, if it goes in, there we go, that'll be alright, some pasta, ready pasta, basically. We're making this stuff here. Well, I am. Right, so. Oops, get out of tune up there. Put this out of here. Always want to do a cooking program, so this is going to be it. In my little kitchen here. There we go. Got the mushrooms and the onions in there. This is my take on it. We've got some frozen peppers here as well. So chuck some of them in. Good handful. Uh, here and there. Look for a little red bit. Always put a red bit in last. Superstition. So give that a stir. And I'm just going to load in some garlic pasta the aglio. So you can get any of this one. Yeah. You got that one as well, do you eat the Do you eat the clumps of it? There you go. Starting to take shape. Very nice. Right, let that simmer away for a minute or two. So, yeah, a bit of mess going on here. Put some milk that goes in. Got uh, some water measured out, 300. Got some chili powder and some crisp and dry. Put my little fryer. Look, very cute. Also some country life butter. So whilst we're waiting for that to cook a little bit, let's take a walk over to. The freezer. And get the freezer door open. I can show you what's in my freezer. Well, I've got some crinkle cut chips. I got a macaroni cheese, ready meal, some flipper dippers, Yorkshire's, smart price ice cream. I'm not flashy. Uh, roast potatoes, peas. That's what's in there. In the uh, fridge, there's not a lot at all, to be honest. It's got a bottle of water waiting to get paid, some cheese spread, some, some of these dippery type things, a couple of tiskies, some beer. Not a lot going on there. Got some cat food. Some salt. Ooh, some money! Yay! A little bit of money there. Some potatoes, which are probably out of date. And, right, next up, we're gonna give this a stir. So now that's done. Put in some water. And then measure out some milk to I'll put 200 in it says 125 but I'll put 200 in so put that in there and also we need some country life need some country life country life country life so take a spoon and yeah, big dollop of country life. 
in you go. That should put some more in. Heart attack on a plate. There we go. Put the lid back on there. Alright, now we get to bring this to the boil. So while well, that takes shape and goes into the colour, because it should turn a little bit yellow. Certainly looks good. Well, it tastes better than it looks though. I'm going to add some herbs in as well. So, cupboard. Let's have a look in the cupboard. What we got in here? Well, we got some ice cream treats, some hot dogs, some pilchards, carrots, broth. And this one. This is an interesting one. Oat burst. Never had that before. Got ready break in the corner. Cat drops. Uh, put me in here for. Let's put some basil in. And some. Some. What else we got? Oh, we got some of this stuff. Yeah, we'll need that. And put them up there. Looking for. Some herbs, mixed herbs, there they are. Need some mixed herbs. So, there we go, that's what I need. I'm sure I heard a cat a minute ago. Where did she go? There she is. Hello, you. What are you after, eh? What are you after? Look, I put some milk down for you there. Put some milk down for you. Yeah, you sniffing the basil. Look, oh, don't run away from it. And she's off. Okay, she don't like that. Right, see if I can give that a quick stir. It's starting to turn yellow. That's a country life. Country life butter. So just take the lid off here if I can get off. Yeah, man. There's me mixed herbs. A little bit. Oh. Well, it was supposed to be a little bit. Let's add some basil to that as well. Sprinkle of basil. There we go. There's some basil. And stir that in. Now it's going to be very tasty and herby. So we're waiting for this to come at the boil before I. Uh... There we go. Watch the herbs settle. Get that off of there. Off of there. Eight minutes this has been running for. This is pretty good. Okay. Let's go right in. I feel like Floyd without the alcohol. So, that shouldn't be long before that comes to the boil. Well, it would help if it was turned up to four or five. Five or six, even. And we wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, any signs of boiling yet? No sign of boiling yet. So, put the lid back on the milk. You can see I've been washing up. So I do do my washing up. But I've still got loads to do. Let's have a look in this cupboard. See what we got in here. Not a lot. Some clean glasses. Some soup. Uh, yeah, Not a lot in there. Got my tumble dryer on there and my trusty tree which is getting bigger. Big tree. Yeah. And that's about it really that I can show you in here. Apart from twenty mad body facts. We got bus and rail services in Wolverhampton. Uh let's see where I am. There's we're at West Park's there. So I'm in this area. Yep. What else have we got? 
Scotland and I've got a map of Birmingham as well because I quite often go to Birmingham at my seahorse radio and my comfort and you can see where I burnt myself the other day on the oven as well right let's have another look at this see what's happening looks like it's coming to the boil sometime soon oh let one go quick stir Right, let's add this and then I'm going to sign off. So that's that added. Should start to look better now and it'll be ready in about 10 minutes. So I'll be eating in about 10 minutes. Give it a good stir. Oh yeah, there's one more ingredient I want to put in first. Because I like it with a kick, so we're going to add some chilli powder. Let me just flop that there a minute. Yep, cinnamon's back. Right, a bit of chilli powder. Not hard to do it. This should turn it a bit redder. And been a bit steamy down there now. And there we have it. Food will be ready soon. So that's my pasta. And cinnamon down here. You gonna say cheerio? Yep. Right. Bye.